I got asked which shoe is better, the Adi Zero RC5 or the Adios 8. Well, let's get this comparison done because actually it was not uh, an easy question this time. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Hello, welcome back guys in a new video comparison. Smash the subscribe button if you haven't yet. And if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like. You know, it's just one click for you, but a big support for the channel and uh, for the work done for this video. Thank you for your support. I'm using both shoes since uh, months. Uh, you can find all the video reviews in the, in the channel if you're interested in more details. Uh, uh, let's get started from the specs, uh, the also midsole and upper and finally I'll uh, give you my uh, conclusion on which shoe is better for which training and uh, why. As we can see from the specs, uh, the drop is different 8mm uh, versus uh, uh, 10mm. Uh, the stockade as well, especially in the forefoot, the RC5 is lower to the ground and uh, the weight is slightly different. The RC5 is uh, 15 grams uh, lighter. In the audio set, we have uh, a combo of uh, Live Strike and Live Strike Pro full light strike foam instead for the RC5 midsole. In the RC5 we have a traditional torsion system, torsion rods that uh, for the Adios 8. While the RC5 is lighter and lower to the ground, the Adios 8 has uh, more foam in the midsole uh, for a higher stack, uh, which of course increased the weight. The dimensions are also different. Uh, the Adios 8 got uh, a wider forefoot and beer foot. And overall I felt more shoe in my feet, uh, so better in terms of uh, stability and comfort. How so now? The house soles uh, have uh, different design patterns, uh, both have a good creep, but the small lugs uh, in the RC5 are better in dirty roads, uh, even though the rubber uh, is uh, adiware and uh, not continental rubber. The Adios 8 uh, has uh, the continental rubber instead and uh, a design pattern which uh, I would suggest mostly for the road. In terms of durability, I believe we could estimate the same range, uh, maybe a bit longer in the Adios 8 uh, because the continental rubber. Both shoes uh, look still okay after more than 100 miles uh, in the Adios 8 and a bit less in the RC5. The sports foam in both shoes is not that much, uh, but they are still flexible and uh, not rigid at all. The two different torsion systems uh, seem to work properly in both shoes, with some differences as we can see in the running dynamics collected here uh, in the seven tests I usually execute. As we can see from the ground contact time, uh, the bars in blue, uh, the shoes are pretty similar, even if uh, the RC5 is uh, slightly more responsive, uh, increasing the pace. In terms of efficiency, looking at uh, the bars in green, uh, uh, it is not a surprise uh, to see that the Adios 8 is more efficient, uh, so the torsion rods and the combo of uh, foams in the midsole uh, work pretty fine, uh, thanks also to the new uh, Light Strike 2.0, uh, which is slightly softer than the normal Light Strike, uh, as we can see in the test with the Durometer here. Midsole now! So in the Adios 8 uh, we have uh, two forms, uh, the Light Strike Pro uh, in the forefoot uh, and the Light Strike 2.0 which makes the shoe uh, more efficient uh, but still responsive uh, as the RC5. The RC5 instead is entirely made of the uh, first Light Strike uh, which is still responsive uh, but less uh, efficient and less comfortable. Uh, it requires some miles before to get uh, uh, better. Not only the new form but even the uh, bevels uh, introduced in the Adios 8 uh, in the um, heel uh, in the rear foot uh, are allowed to have uh, a more comfortable ride, especially for those of you uh, who land in the heels. The Light Strike Pro form uh, in the forefoot is not that much, uh, and uh, actually the forefoot uh, uh, feels uh, stiffer uh, than I thought. The rocket design in the forefoot is slightly uh, more pronounced in the Adios 8, uh, which is more efficient. Upper now. The uppers are totally different, uh, kind of all style upper in the RC5, uh, similar shape than the Boston 9 uh, and uh, totally new uh, uh, in the Adios uh, 8 uh, with a new single layer mesh, uh, super breathable. Both have a good uh, room in the forefoot despite it is not too wide but uh, similar to other shoes, uh, Adi Zero shoes and uh, the fit is uh, as I like, uh, so perfect for such kind of uh, shoes in the Adi Zero lineup. Good aesthetically speaking, I like more the RC5 uh, in terms of design and colorway. In terms of durability instead, uh, I'm not sure, uh, they look both um, not that durable uppers uh, and even if uh, so far I don't see any uh, 
sign somewhere. The heel counter is great in both shoes, uh, but in the RC5 it's more uh, padded, comfortable and uh, with a better foot lockdown. Even the tongue in the RC5 is more comfortable, uh, but uh, it is not a gasset tongue as uh, in the other set. Uh, which has a thinner uh, gasset tongue uh, to avoid uh, tongue sliding. I prefer the RC5 in terms of uh, foot lock tongue, locks my foot in place better than the Audio 8, uh, still without uh, tongue sliding. And in conclusion, overall both shoes are great shoes in my opinion, and uh, as we can see from the scores, uh, from one up to five, uh, which you can see for the first time in this video comparison. So please guys, give me a feedback if uh, they help to understand better my impressions. Both shoes have uh, a similar scores. Uh, the RC5 is uh, um, overall a, a bit less comfortable, uh, mostly because the midsole. It has a better fit thanks to the upper and uh, it has in general uh, a better grip, uh, except on the road, uh, thanks to the uh, outsole design pattern. On the road, the audio said uh, is better because uh, the continental road. In regard the training, as uh, we have seen uh, from the running dynamics collected, uh, it looks like the RC5 is uh, slightly better, especially in terms of uh, uh, response uh, and a bit less efficient uh, uh, than the Adios uh, 8. Uh, so I prefer the RC5 more in fast workouts uh, like interval trainings uh, and um, the Adios 8 uh, during uh, uh, far leg uh, because more comfortable, especially during the slower minutes. Both shoes are not ideal uh, for easy or long running, RC5 not at all. For racing, the RC5 is a perfect shoes for uh, uh, racing uh, the 5 km and uh, the other set for the 10 km and uh, both are not ideal uh, uh, for uh, half marathon or uh, marathon, at least for my running uh, uh, style and uh, performance. In a nutshell, my answer is uh, RC5 for interval trainings and um, for racing a uh, 5 km race. Uh, and uh, I just said uh, for fat leg, tempo run or for raising a uh, 10 km race. I hope guys it was useful. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't yet. You know, it's very important for me and uh, with just one click, you can support my channel and the work done for this video. So as usual, as usual guys, thank you so much for watching. Until the next time, just keep running. Coming up on the horizon, no. I lose track of time. Yeah, I move fast and climb. A new class divine. Yeah, true passion shines. And I'm through passing time. I choose stacking dimes. You snooze half the time while I move passing by. Uh. I work hard each and every day. I get lost in the words I say. I don't push pause, no, I push play. I won't stop till I make a change. I withdraw on the things I make. I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say